I'm studying carbon dynamics and uh, in soils and earthworm populations and actually this is a nice place because you can see the differences in vegetation between the prairie remnants and the conservation reserve program. Uh, basically you have a lot of native vegetation, a different amount of biodiversity and over there is it's mostly grasses and fewer species. I'm working with earthworms and see their populations, how many are there, what, what species are there. Uh, also measuring plant uh, biomass and root biomass decomposition. So I'm hoping to get a better understanding of how, what are the processes uh, affecting the carbon that is stored in the soil. Last year I found a specimen of the giant pollus earthworm or Drillolatus americanus. And this is a, a rare earthworm that hasn't been found in almost 18 years. It has a relevance for conservation of biodiversity of the, of the region as well as to recognize the importance of earthworms in soils processes and how do they affect uh, soils and plants and the whole soil ecosystem.